What's up guys, Dorian Frazier, Human Activator, Leptokinetic Healer, here to do one of these, uh, you know, uh, Energy Healing Explained videos. These are actually some of my favorite videos uh, uh, to do. It's been quite some time since I've done one. Um, I don't know, filming has always been such kind of an interesting phenomenon, really. And uh, sometimes I'm inspired to work with certain things, sometimes I'm pulled to write more articles, sometimes I'm pulled to work more with a specific type of film, whether that's a guided meditation or a, uh, you know, um, energy healing demonstration. The point is, is that I don't like to force my work, I don't like to force anything I'm creating, um, and that's really it. <laughs> I think it's important that we, you know, learn to listen to the pushes and the pulls of the universe and kind of our natural uh, creativity will, will manifest through that. And uh, so, yeah. But so what I'm going to talk about today is probably one, you know, one of the most profound uh, sessions I did kind of uh, when I first started working remotely um, in the sense that it really showed me that just because someone doesn't move doesn't mean it's my fault or I don't have the ability to do it. You know, it really showed me that sometimes creating this environment is necessary to induce a lot of the responses that we get that we use as, uh, you know, uh, biofeedback or confirmation. So this session showed me that. It showed me that I was doing something different as well. And this was because I had worked on this person a total of about seven sessions or so. And, you know, they kept believing in the process, believing in the process. And, uh, you know, ultimately we were able to find this one little specific emotion that was able to kind of uh, crack their code or send their system into this overridden state where we have more access to uh, a lot of their information. At microgrid activation, that's one of the things we do is working with isolating the emotions through the chakras and other parts of the body as well. Um, but you know, there's many different things uh, that kind of create that environment that's necessary, that electrically excitable environment. And just sometimes it's just this one little energetic blockage that's kind of getting in the way of their system being a closed circuit of that energy being able to really travel all the way through the body. So this patient had had some, you know, intense childhood kind of stuff go on and things of that nature. And so on this last session, I had just, uh, find, I just decided, to, like, let's take a deeper look at the uh, emotional body. And, you know, because prior to that, we had been really creating this environment, really recharging and reconnecting the system. And uh, I just had this intuitive pull to work with uh, any uh, emotions that are based in lack or depravity and then just like that she started to uh, you know have uh, an emotional release begin to manifest and uh, you know we were able to further isolate it into specific parts of uh, the center of the chakra which is the chakra seed if you're liking this type of content before we go any further though please hit the like and subscribe button if you have not already um, it's always a pleasure uh, to be heard and without you guys I'm nothing so I appreciate it and um, yeah let's go ahead and take a look at this target any lack or depravity in the lower centers <laughs> and transmute those low pulsating frequencies Let's go ahead and uh, reharmonize the new crystallized structures in the first chakra center. Transmit eighth dimensional frequencies. And uh, after that, 
their responses, their stimuli was at a level four and a five, you know, neurogenic tremoring, localized twitch responses, hypnagogic jerks, you know, these really strong jolt-like responses and convulsive-like responses. She told me that she would even watch my human activation series and uh, she would have responses as if she was getting a session. So that session really showed me that if the person takes the time and the, the consistency and we work through these things uh, uh, in a dedicated, uh, disciplined manner, then often we're able to achieve some really awesome mind-body connection and um, yeah, kind of uh, get to the end goal of my work, which is to get their uh, higher self to integrate. So that's what I got for you guys on today's episode of Energy Healing Explained. Um, like I said, be sure to uh, like and subscribe to this channel. Check out our blog at Microgrid Activation. If you're interested in learning more about the leptokinetic healing process or how to uh, kind of just understand maybe what you're sensing a little bit more in your energy healing practice or some of the responses you're getting or why you may not be getting them, uh, please shoot us an email at uh, humangridactivation at gmail.com and uh, it would be an honor to kind of pass some of these things on. So yeah, that's what I got for you guys today. As always, it's a pleasure to be here. Your presence is appreciated and until next time, y'all.